Your heart is a powerful muscle which pumps blood around your body and this blood carries fuel in the way of oxygen and nutrients to every cell, nerve, muscle and organ in our body, allowing us to do all the things we do in everyday life. Being the hard-working muscle it is, the heart needs its own fuel supply. It receives this through its own blood vessel network called the coronary arteries. Two main coronary arteries, the left and right, branch off from the aorta. These in turn branch off into smaller arteries which supply oxygen-rich blood around the entire heart muscle. The right coronary artery supplies mainly the right side of the heart and the left coronary artery supplies the left side of the heart. Coronary arteries, like other arteries in our body, are like hollow tubes. They have a strong outer wall and a more delicate inner lining. When we are very young, our coronary arteries generally have healthy, smooth walls and are wide open tubes. Throughout our lifetime, the delicate coronary artery wall can be put under attack from risk factors such as toxins from inhaled cigarette smoke, mechanical injury from high pressured blood flow, high cholesterol or high blood sugar from a diet high in saturated fats and sugars, and lack of exercise. These risk factors injure the delicate artery lining. This injury sets off a chain of events which leads to the buildup of fatty deposits or gunk within patches of artery walls. This process is known as atherosclerosis. These atherosclerotic fatty deposits grow and become harder to form plaque. As these plaques become larger, the artery becomes narrower. Less blood is able to flow through the narrowed artery opening, meaning that part of the heart muscle is supplied with less oxygen and nutrient fuel. This can be a particular problem when the heart is pumping fast, such as during activity, and at this stage, people can experience symptoms of angina or chest discomfort. The buildup of plaque can cause a portion of the inner lining of the artery to tear. As a result, a blood clot forms over the tear, similar to the way blood clots at the side of a cut to stop bleeding. This blood clot can block the artery opening and prevent blood flowing and reaching a part of the heart muscle. Which part of the heart muscle depends on which coronary artery becomes blocked. Fuel supply to part of your heart muscle is cut off. The heart muscle affected is starved of oxygen and nutrients, and if blood flow isn't restored quickly, begins to die. This is a heart attack. Signs and symptoms of a heart attack vary from person to person. Minutes matter when it comes to getting treatment for a heart attack. Immediate treatment for a heart attack is needed to reopen the block fuel line to the heart muscle again. This is done by opening the artery either by using clot busting drugs or through angioplasty. Long term medication treatment can help reduce risk factors such as high cholesterol and blood pressure and slow or stop the damage to the artery walls and plaque buildup, therefore reducing your risk of another heart attack. Once you have had a heart attack, it is more important than ever to change direction and get off the road that has led you to your heart attack. You might not be able to turn back time and have the arteries you had as a child, but by taking steps to change your personal risk factors and taking medication, you can limit further damage to your heart, reduce your risk of having another heart attack and lead a well and fulfilling life.